Hello viewers, again, I'm here with a new video and this video will be for GATE Metallurgical Engineering aspirants. Congratulations, Andrevin on securing All India Rank 2 in uh, GATE 2025 Metallurgical Engineering paper. How are you feeling about your this achievement? Yo, it, uh, it's it's a great, uh, I mean, great achievement. Uh, as far as I uh, prepared for the exam, uh, I have no clue uh, where I'll land up and uh, getting the rank. Uh, but as a progress, I understood that I am going forward. Uh, so uh, finally, I got a result. And uh, on the result day, I <laughs> got to know I got uh, eight two. So that was really an amazing experience and amazing journey uh, with all my friends and the supporters who always there to help me. Uh, yeah, so that's the thing. Okay, as you said, as you said, this was your third attempt, right? Yes. And what kept you motivated throughout your gate journey? And can you tell me something about like what changes you made in this attempt? And what what is the difference between your three attempts? Why you secured all India rank two in this attempt? Why you didn't secure a single or double digit rank in previous attempts? Yeah, it's uh, it's quite uh, understandable because. Uh... Uh, when I see any gate paper, I mean, from metallurgy, uh, any gate paper metallurgy domain, uh, so the questions are not very tough. There are very uh, basic questions. If you know, you know. Otherwise, uh, you will end up uh, wasting time and you can't able to solve the question. So that is the key uh, where uh, I, uh, when I prepared, uh, if I prepare properly, I could get it. So uh, that was the, uh, that was the uh, thought uh, that, came up into mind uh, that uh, that keeps me motivated throughout the process so in my first attempt uh, i was like i just wanted to uh, know how is the competition and uh, where should, where will i lie in that uh, competition and uh, and also i studied this mathematics and apt it is common for everyone and it is not tough uh, if you like start preparing in even in second year also uh, so uh, from uh, with metallurgical domain by third year uh, i don't have any much exposure as you know uh, you will finish the main four courses uh, by the end of the third three two semester or the four one semester so uh, uh, later uh, uh, when i realized even though you prepare in second attempt even though you prepare gate exam uh, you might not writing uh, all the answers correctly because you may end up in uh, getting into silly mistakes right so that's that's where i got to know the importance of practice uh, practicing the uh, questions the problem solving and uh, getting into uh, the analysis part where you are really losing the marks so uh, basically what i did is uh, i have already i mean i have seen few toppers uh, uh, videos like how they are going to crack the gate uh, and i got to know uh, you should, at least you should be confident enough uh, about the gate syllabus, what you are going to appear in the exam. That mm -hmm. is the first thing. If you are confident with the uh, syllabus uh, and it, it not needed that uh, you do a PhD in every topic, you just need to, uh, you, have, you should have some strong topics and uh, there might be weak topics also, but you could all uh, be in a position uh, that if some simple problem or simple question comes you should be able to uh, do the I mean, solve the problem okay or uh, answer the question uh, and it's just giving mock test so in third attempt what i did is uh, uh, instead of uh, just reading the sources uh, reference books or whatever uh, i more important um, because i have already joined mtech courses uh, with the curriculum itself uh, i must prepare uh, prepared enough uh, in understanding the fundamental concepts so uh, that was the reason why I not dedicated much time to prepare for preparing from many reference books and something else. Okay, so this time what I did is I in third my in third attempt I just focused on uh, writing, giving mock tests as many uh, uh, mock tests as, as possible. Uh, that too, not new questions. Uh, the questions already given in the gate. That means previous year papers. You got it right. Uh, yeah. Oh, ha, that's it. That, that's yeah. great. That's great thing. And I would like to ask you a thing. Many aspirants have limited resources, as you said that you collected everything from your own. So, what affordable, affordable or free study material would you like to recommend all those aspirants who are preparing for twenty twenty six, and all those aspirants 
who is not able to buy premium resources okay so i think uh, if you are a student uh, you will be uh, allowed to go to library so you can find the uh, books uh, which are relevant to your course work uh, from the library itself so you, uh, since i have studied in uh, studied in nit orangal in my btech and now in now at iit madras uh, i don't have any problem in accessing the resources uh, and also have seniors uh, who helped me in uh, i mean providing the gu- right guidance in the way that uh, uh, any professor will say uh, for mechanical metallurgy georgie dieter uh, you should prepare for uh, take as the reference book uh, in case you are preparing forget it is a must people say so i just uh, bought the book uh, rls you can find a soft copy also uh, uh, and I, in fact uh, i didn't even prepare uh, much of the reference uh, from the reference books i have taken uh, georgie dieter for mechanical metallurgy and uh, what else for mathematics i have solved the previous year papers and uh, seen uh, some youtube sources that is all free of cost only you don't need to invest in any money this is a digital india now uh, if you ask me how to approach in getting uh, resources uh, i think it's not fair uh, you need to know at least if you are trying for something you need to know how to collect the resources even mm-hmm. you can ask uh, any person who is taking coaching or uh, Uh, to get a uh, resources or you can uh, ask your professor to suggest any reference books so that he can read or else you can take uh, resources from already existing people right uh, after completing uh, graduation they, the reference books might not be helpful for them uh, uh, for a few so you can lend them for some time and also you can give it back so there are many possibilities okay what was your approach to revision and practicing the tests previous year questions and the gate papers so can you tell me something about it like what was your revision revision strategy with the tests mock tests at all you at your home okay hmm. uh, so I, uh, at least you should know about your weakness and strengths uh, why i am saying is this because uh, uh, in my i have uh, i have given many competitive many in the sense many competitive exams because to get into an nit orangal you have to give je mai Uh, and also i have given je advanced and uh, now gate okay yeah. uh, so uh, if you are preparing for uh, competitive exams uh, uh, i think you have you will acquire some skills uh, how to uh, get uh, get into uh, i mean landing up in a good rank okay so uh, in my uh, p- p- i mean in, in my 11th and 12th class i was having this issue when i solve any numerical problems uh, i will be uh, i used to get very simple silly uh, silly mistakes and uh, getting the answer wrong so this is a really big mistake uh, so uh, this help uh, the regular practice only helps you in uh, getting out of this right so just be conscious and uh, don't get panic in the exam because uh, you are uh, getting uh, allotted with three hours of time because there is always uh, Uh, some sort of uh, uncomfortness uh, in mm-hmm. sitting mm-hmm. in an exam hall uh, you might know you might not know the answer or uh, even though you know you're not getting to recollect the answer that impacts the other following uh, questions also right so you need to give enough time to each question otherwise uh, there will be impact when you go further when you when you move further so you should take all this into consideration uh, you should uh, always uh, try to watch your uh, thoughts and mind how it is thinking in the exam otherwise you cannot uh, i mean outstand in the exam that's what i mean uh, so, in, uh, so in my mock test uh, if i solve uh, actually the iit professors are setting the paper right so they'll trick uh, they'll trick the students in such a way that they know where students usually commit the mistakes so mm-hmm. if you uh, if you properly observe the pattern how uh, the gate is going to be conducted uh so in my case uh, i have uh, seen i will tell you few examples so, so that it illustrates the thing what i want to uh, say you uh, there are uh, there is there is same problem which comes every year almost in a similar way with changing numericals uh, numerical values and it asks sometime magnitude of the value you are getting that is one type of question where you you can omit the negative sign Uh, there is an, another same question asking you the value uh, not magnitude the value it is asking from the they are expecting the value of the 
one which are solving so if they expect value you have to consider the uh, negative sign or positive sign also but uh, if they consider uh, taking it magnitude then you should omit the negative sign and only put the value of it i mean the ma uh, absolute magnitude of it so this is way uh, this is one way that you figure out how this question you can you may go end up in getting a uh, to mark uh, so like this you have to uh, understand the pattern in okay. every every type of question mm. okay as you said that uh, it's your third attempt so how would you describe the difficulty level of this year metallurgical engineering paper compared to previous two years like 23 24 and 25 ah even in last exam uh, i have prepared well i have invested sufficient amount of i mean uh, because i was doing uh, uh, my profession like i, I was a gt at hindustan zinc limited mm -hmm. so in the last uh, i mean last year so i i had to work and also i had to in, uh, provide time for gate preparation also so at most i can provide 3 hours of time for preparation daily sometimes uh, it will be not possible also that is also there so in that case uh, uh, in that case what happened is in that exam uh, i i know the formula formula based questions like how to solve all these all the questions i mean uh, i don't i may not know the fundamentals of it but i could able to solve the question if i had a formula Uh, so uh, finally, after the exam day, I, I ended up in getting uh, many negatives, uh, like ten or fifteen, ten to twelve negatives. I, I ended up getting. Uh, so this is where I started to think uh, something is uh, is a problem uh, that I am not going to uh, that I am not figuring it, figuring it out uh, right now. So I should uh, work on improve my score. Just uh, so this time it should not be happen right because if you are willing to get. Uh, all questions uh, right if, uh, since you know the uh, basic things but you are not getting you are not going to get the marks means uh, you should uh, see yourself where you are lacking behind so uh, i started to uh, go for mtech uh, with the gate score what i achieved in the last year and i uh, and i joined and, uh, and uh, really the professors uh, their and their assignments helped me in getting concepts clear Uh, when when people say when people ask like what to follow uh, or how do how do you get this then I'll definitely say that is because of my M Tech curriculum uh, there is no doubt yeah, at all. Yeah, everybody should follow mentioned... their college pattern, college syllabus. College. Like, so yeah. so it's not about M Tech also. Even you are studying a B Tech, uh, then you should follow your cl classes and uh, yeah. should prepare notes. Uh, So basically, what did you ask? I, I think I I sort of deviated yeah. from the question. Comparison difficulty level of three years. Ah, huh, difficulty level, right? Ah, uh, so uh, see, ah, uh, in terms of difficulty, ah, uh, last two years so the paper was uh, aptitude was very easy. So everyone, I mean, if, if, uh, if someone is preparing seriously for gate, ah, uh, everyone can could able to get fifteen out of fifteen in the aptitude. So this time it was uh, not the case. So this time apt is little ah. Uh, Harder, a little harder. Not, I'm, I'm not saying it uh, is definitely not easy. I can say this. Uh, so when it comes to core courses for metallurgy, uh, the pattern little bit they have changed this year. So even though they ask the same question uh, in a different way, they have asked. Okay, so the preparation doesn't change for uh, uh, approaching a problem. Uh, so the core concepts, uh, I felt uh, it, it was easier this year because many. uh many topics they have uh, not included in this question i mean in this year paper which were part of the paper last time because in metallurgy phase transformations phase uh, uh phase diagrams are compulsory question uh, which you can see in every year paper almost okay. all but this year instead of asking some numerical type on the phase uh, phase diagram they have asked a just phase transformation uh definition this is very basic right uh, i mean in invariant reactions so the core 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 technical side is easier and the aptitude part is little harder this is the uh, this is the conclusion i want to give okay for your question yeah as you attempted all three years paper in the real life so i would like to ask one thing also were there any unexpected topics or pattern in this year paper 
no there were no unexpected uh, yeah there are few conceptual questions uh, it's not uh, numerical type questions all are expected only numerical type uh, if you see conceptual questions there are uh, um, in uh, I, i mean in casting they have asked some ratios uh, where you uh, how the pressure will vary in those regions uh, uh, you should uh, come in uh, come to a uh, give it, give you a ratio of pressure variation throughout the regions they have given three regions so that was a question uh, so if you if you know the design of a casting mold then you could able to answer the question so uh, that was a, a new question for me i could able to judge based upon my understanding in the casting uh, i could able to get the answer right also uh, there is also one more question uh, sometimes these people will trick you in say uh, giving uh, by uh, this year they have asked for ndt questions non distributed testing where they have asked for metal casting so sometimes ndt uh, you may know uh, for what type of samples you could able to test the sample uh, mm-hmm. but if they specifically uh, explicitly say any material then the answer might change Uh, so since if it is a msq question then you have to select more than one answer so you should be very conscious enough to judge which one is right which one is wrong okay so there are few questions but these are conceptual questions only not numerical type uh, everyone every numerical type is expected one mm, that's it that's really uh, great to know your preparation journey and everything so i would like to ask one more question like any specific message for those facing setbacks and struggling to improve their scores like you like you uh, improved your score in your third attempt so if anybody is preparing again so what would you like to suggest to them how can they prepare to improve their score okay so first thing uh, just be confident with your uh, uh, syllabus what is going to be coming in gate exam If you are not uh, confident enough uh, then uh, then just go uh, without uh, without any delay just go into the topic and uh, understand for yourself uh, if you feel that you understood and still you want to uh, do something still you want to know whether i am understood or really understood or not then go for problem solving because in problem solving uh, you will understand where you are lacking in uh, understanding the concepts so uh, if you are not able to solve the problem then just see any solution or uh, just uh, give some time to think yourself uh, because you need to uh, develop a certain kind of uh, approach that even if you are really don't know anything about the question you should able to answer the question right so this thinking this approach will always help you in exam or any future when you go into any profession also so don't ever neglect this uh, thing that analyzing what you are doing and uh, and also practicing is also equally important uh, important uh, where you can always uh, reduce your silly mistakes um, and also uh, you know how to, you will also come to know where you are giving more amount of time which is un- which might be unnecessary because uh, in exam mainly in last year what happened for me is i taken one question with ego like why i couldn't able to solve this question uh, so uh if you take any question to ego then uh, you might not uh, end up solving other questions uh, that is very tragic uh, tragic situation because uh, uh, you should be able to provide sufficient time to every question so that's why you don't take any uh, any question to your ego and uh, try to solve in that exam itself uh, if you see if you this always like comes with the practice only so just uh, try to give mock tests as many as possible and understand where you're investing more time and uh, where do you want to really rectify and uh, work for improvement uh, just do it yeah so guys i would like to say uh, something for uh, unrevin like failure is not when you fall it's when you refuse to get back up so uh, once again i would like to congratulate you you, you and your family uh, from the find my test team and me so we wish uh, you will get everything which you want to get in your life thank you so much for giving your valuable time and we wish all the best thank you thank you vishnu thank you so much thank you so much to find my test uh, also <laughs> thank you thank yeah. you